Hey, yesterday, yesterday we just talked about scenario with just with drawings and that. So, but today we won't do the drawings. But I think you kind of get the idea that when when it uh, air uh, or gases automatically will go through what's called um, diffusion, which means they spontaneously mix and they'll mix thoroughly. Okay. So this is where we use Dalton's law of partial pressure is right here, where if I want to know, after I open this up, if I want to op open this up and I want to um, see what it's going to be after I open it up, what you would do, you would use Dalton's law of partial pressure that says P1 times V1, well, I guess this isn't... Um, it's kind of like Dalton's law of partial pressure, but you say P1 times V1 plus P2 times, that's supposed to be times, P2 equals P3 times V3. All right? So basically, these two pressures will equal the final pressure. That's what I mean. And you say, well, that's not a pressure. But it's Boyle's law, okay? So what we, what we would do is you take 1 times 3. On this example, we take 3 times 1 plus 6, which would be 2 times 3, okay? And then what you're going to end up with is P3 times, what's the new volume? 4. 4, right? So basically, you have 3 plus 6 is 9. And then, so 9 equals P3 times 4 liters. And then you would take, divide by 4, both sides, and then that, and that gets you your P3. That gets you your final pressure. Does that make sense? Yep. So, <clears throat> in a way, it is, Dal it is Dalton's Law of partial Pressure that says, you know, this... This combination plus this is going to equal the final one. <clears throat> so when you guys have problems like that, that's what you that's how you would deal with it. And and yesterday we saw the molecules move to prove that. So we kind of debated that, went through that process of how how that all um, would take place. And I've got one more to show you, and then I'll give you some time to look at some of these different scenarios and um, answer questions based upon. Um, how those how those come apart or come about? We're pretty much done with the unit two at 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 this point. So there's not a whole lot for that we're going to have to go through and do. Question. All right, the last one's pretty easy too. All right. So the last one would be if I have a container here. It's sealed. And I have two atmospheres, and then this is what I have. I've got krypton, I have argon, and we'll, we'll have neon. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and put these in there. Okay, so let's say I want to find um, the pressures of everything in there. How could I find the pressure? Um, the overall pressure is two atmospheres. We know it's made up of three parts. So we know that P1 plus P2 plus P3 equals the two atmospheres. So how would I figure out the the pressures of krypton, how, how could I figure out what this is going to be, partial pressure? They call it partial pressure. All the partial pressures, like in the lab you did, you had two partial pressures in there. You had water vapor pressure and the actual pressure. So how could we figure out the pressure of each one? Any ideas? 
There's like four Krypton atoms out of. Okay, so you're saying, so you got four out of. Fifteen. Okay. What about argon? Five out, of five out of fifteen. So one out of three. And then this one. Six out of fifteen. Is that six? Do I have? Yeah. Okay. So do you guys have an idea how you would find the partial pressures and everything? So it would just be four fifteenths of the times two. Times two. Yes, so if I wanted to find a partial pressure of krypton, I'd just take, because we know all of them. Later on, they will call these, uh, when we get into them, they'll call them mole fractions. So this is actually a mole fraction. So later on this, this year, we won't call it mole fractions here, but later on, we will say that the mole fraction, uh, and it's not a fraction, it's a decimal, but mole fraction of krypton is 0.26. Okay, and the mole fraction of the next one would be 0 0.3, 0 0.3 repeating. repeating, and then the next one, Four. Yeah, 0.4. 0.4. Okay, so that, that those would be mole fractions, and then we'll use that kind of like this, but those mole fractions are just decimal forms of the percent. So on the first one, um, we would go ahead and take that. 0.26, which is 26%, or a little over 26%, times 2, and that would give us our um, partial pressure, 0.53, would be of krypton. Okay? And then we just do that with the other two, and it's that simple anytime you want to find the partial pressures. Point eight. All right, I got some other questions just real quick to ask you. Um, what was that? What do I need to ask? Oh, uh, which which element up there uh, is traveling at the slowest speed? Okay. Uh, which one's traveling at the fastest speed? Neon. Yeah. You guys know by weights, right? I'm, I'm drawing them based upon their weights, but it would be neon. Uh, which one would, uh, yeah, we won't ask too many other questions. I was going to ask you. Well, we know what, which one has the highest pressure, right? We know that neon has, a, could you, you could figure that out without doing the, the fractions, but um, neon would have the highest pressure, partial pressure. Um, yeah, that's good trying to think of some other questions that will come up. but Okay, any questions on that? So I'm going to give you some of these to think about, um, to add on to that assignment that you have, and then you guys got the rest of the period in which to, to dive into them and do them. And they're kind of similar to these. Um, it would be 87 through 93 on page 209. Just add that on. 71, 73, 74, 77, 78. Oh, okay. 87 through 93. And then we had originally 71, 73, 74, 77, 78. I think we'll have a test on Monday. Another Monday test? Yeah. Another one. Wait, this coming Monday? Well, I don't want it Friday, and we're done. And we don't. After this, we're not doing anything. So we got Thursday. I think we might have a. I could hold off to Tuesday, but I'll let you know for sure tomorrow. Okay? Because we may do a lab, but I got to come up with a decent lab, and I think I know no one to do. But um, yeah, we could have our mold. Well, I want to do it when when the other ones have. The concept of a mole, when we go through that, then that's when I'll do it. Okay. Well, they can only hurry up as much as I let them hurry up. 